Backstage Pass, I'm glad you're tuning in and supporting Arizona professional entertainment and national entertainment. With me is Arizona's 1991 artist, new age experimental though, experimental artist of the air, Joe Myers. And we're really happy he just performed on the show. We're really happy to have him with us. So what's new in your career other than doing our show, Joe? Well, I'm doing a uh, um, CD release that's going to be released in uh, the end of August. On a, I started my own label called Chameleon Dogs, and it will be released hopefully by the last week in August, maybe September 1st, 11-song um, CD called House with Nine Rooms. That's beautiful. How'd you come up with that? Is that the house you're living in? Yeah, well, it's, it's part of a... Um, the house I'm living in, as well as uh, the house with nine rooms, is I moved into this house and I started the album at that time, so I used that in conjunction with that. And then I um, had the tunes together. They're all kind of different in their, in their ways, and I'm correlating it as well as with uh, the universe with nine planets as well. It's kind of a concept album for an acoustic musician, which I don't see much of these days. You know, it's like you see like Floyd and uh, Pink Floyd and a lot of. 80s bands doing or late 70s bands doing concept albums and I'm trying to bring that into the realm of an acoustic musician which hasn't been done or touched on that much. You know um, some people call me from a uh, label new age experimental l label from Tucson called Sounding of the Planet. They're supposedly here tonight and they caught your act so I hope everything happens with you. I know you had some interest with Wyndham Hill yeah. and then what happened? I don't know I, I had um, some connections there and then I was working through Michael Hedges and then all of a sudden, it seemed to get cut off, and then I had um, some other interest from some other labels, and it just seems to me that to get it done, I have to do it myself, and, and as an acoustic soloist, it's kind of difficult because you don't have the energy of a band or the draw of a band or the hype of a band, so in the acoustic realm and in the solo realm, you have a lot less of that, so people aren't as interested in what you're going to draw and what you're going to make and all the money aspect of it, and I'm just trying to do it as an art form rather than um, a commercial. Um, you know, I, the other day when uh, I went in and saw you at one of the college bars, it was amazing if you can keep the attention of the college kids as they're talking, but they are mesmerized by you. Your style is just so incredible that I, I predict some great things for you, Joe. Uh, the, the college bars I'm playing at, you know, I, I struggle a little bit with the, 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 the volume in there and the, and the way everybody's kind of getting crazy and stuff, but it's worked out to where it's been a real... Uh, it's, it's joyful for me to go play there. It's like I, I look forward to it, and it, it seems weird that, you know, I don't want to cop an attitude like, well, I shouldn't be playing college bars, I shouldn't be playing this and that, but it, it, where it works, it works, and, and that's, you know, and, and where I'm appreciated, it's nice, and, and the energy there is what's important to me. You and know. you play as if it doesn't matter either. I mean, you're so involved. Yeah, and it sounds good in there, too, you know. It's like I, it, getting the sound right is a struggle, and, and it's real simple there, and it, and it sounds good there, and people really like it, and people come back. I've got kind of a a thing going on at a couple of those places that everybody knows on certain nights I do that there and it's developing into that and I enjoy it you know I, I don't want to be snobby and say well I shouldn't be playing bars now and all that kind of thing because it's not true I'll play where people listen and that's the that's the important part you come a long way since you approached me you were with Groove Garden is it or is a long time ago uh, doing the late 60s rock and roll and some original stuff we were pretty good we were actually real good but we were doing the wrong venues and the, our audience, we, we were not playing the places where our audiences were. So, and then I was, I was starting to do the solo thing there and it kind of, it kind of just captured me. The solo thing captured me and I went on with that and it just seems to be working for me. So. Well, that's great. Much success to you in the future. And we always enjoy having you on Backstage Pass. Congratulations on the award. Thanks.